Yo, what is going on everybody? This is Mystical. Today I'm going to give you some tips and tricks for healing spheres and then I have I think a five minute game where I use them and hopefully that'll help uh, drive the points home. So I just want to give you guys some suggestions, some ideas because I got asked this in stream the other day. How do you maximize your spheres when you're using them? So I thought I would I would I would help out a bit. Uh, the first thing is healing spheres dispel any magical dots that are on your target uh, it, it, when you run through them. So if I run through this and I had, you know, Vampiric Touch, Unstable Affliction, they would be dispelled and you wouldn't be punished for it. You wouldn't get feared for dispelling the Vampiric Touch and you wouldn't take the damage if it dispelled the Unstable Affliction, which is very important because if you've queued into a uh, Affliction Warlock, you'd know that one dispel takes out about 50% of your health. So you should be using this versus, I would say, 100% use versus Warlock teams. I wouldn't use it versus Warlock Warrior just because Warriors do so much damage. And this is kind of a slower talent. It, it takes one and a half seconds for it to actually uh, pop up. So it, it's a little bit slower. Um, Warlock Priest is pretty good. Warlock Rogue. Shadow Priest Rogue, I'd probably say. Anything like that. Definitely probably versus Ellie Warlock. Ellie Priest. Anything like that, where it's like double caster, a lot to dispel, I would probably suggest using healing spheres. And so now that you know what it is, when to use it, how do you maximize your healing sphere, you know, output? Uh, the first tip is please don't spam them. I promise you, you will run out of mana very quickly as you will see in the game after this. You don't want to spam three every time, every time you have three charges. Um, you don't want this to happen because then you have to wait, what, 15 seconds, 10 seconds? Yeah, 15 seconds for you get another one. So don't spam them. I don't oom um in the game because I'm spamming healing spheres. They're, they're doing a ton of damage. But you want to do one every once in a while, every here and there. Uh, if there's one that you definitely want to do, it's just a must-have. Wherever you put your port, put a healing sphere on top of it. This is probably my number one tip for healing spheres. That way, whenever you port, let's say you have a Vampiric Touch on you or, you know, a UA or anything of, of, of Flame Shock, anything like that, you could just port and you know the Healing Sphere is there and it dispels everything. So even if they try to swap to you or something, you just have that Healing Sphere for the dispel. You dispel everything. You don't get punished for it. That's probably the biggest thing. Um, now, outside of that, again, if you're using voice, even if you're not using voice, just let your team know that you're using them. It's kind of difficult if you're not using voice because people will just run away from them and it's kind of frustrating. But if you have a guy like this right here, Drekken, and he's he's hitting a warlock, you could just, oh, he's gonna, see, that's what happens if you, you're in a skirm or if you're not using voice to just run away. But what you want to do is you're playing double melee, stack the spheres on top of them. Normally they'll get the run through them or at least you let your team know that they're down. They're not too hard to see. They're floating. They're not that hard to see. If you're playing with a caster, it's a little bit more difficult just because they do tend to move a little bit more. So it's hard with casters, but it's still possible. I would probably play if I was playing with a melee or two. Casters is a little bit iffy, but it still works if you're the casters you're, you're playing with aren't that mobile, like Warlocks, Mages, uh, stuff like that. And that is pretty much it. Again, always put a sphere on your port. Use this when you're playing against Shadow Priests, Ellie Shamans, Affliction Warlocks, and then let your team know that you actually have your healing spheres so that they don't just run past them. And that's pretty much it. I do have a game after this. So if you have any questions, please let me know. I'm more than happy to answer anything you have. This is a very important thing to, to know because Shadow Priests and Affliction Warlocks are pretty damn good. They're really good. They're gonna be in the meta. If not now, in the next season then. So just I hope this was helpful for somebody. And that's pretty much it. Hope everyone has a fantastic rest of your day. And I'll see you later. So I'm going to put my stat, my port down and put a healing healing sphere on top. Okay, I'm just going to put some orbs down right on my warrior. Hopefully he sees them. He sees them. Yes, he ran through them. Perfect. Let's iterate from the Resto Druid. I kind of want to crush him with it. Um, I'm just going to incap him. I'm going to stun him. Oh, double stun. Okay, Druid shrinking it, which is really nice for us. I'm stunned. They might try to swap to me or I might get feared. Okay. I'm lining. Someone's getting aim shotted on. It's not my warrior, which is good. On use. 
Oh, I'm going to revival here because I actually can't find them. Oh, he YOLO trapped. Almost had it too. Feared full. But we have my 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 order weapon things. Order hall. Fallen order. They're going to town right now. And uh, I would like to get some healing spheres out. So I'm going to put some over here because that's where my warrior is going. I'm going to run through one. Yes, perfect. Benthir them. Oh, please get him. Yes, got him. Okay. It was worth it. I'm trapped. I'll wrap this guy back. Nice job. Yeah, warriors do a lot of damage. Warriors do a lot of damage. I'm going to play... Yeah, I'm going to play Crane here. Always, if playing Healing Sphere, put a Healing Sphere on your port. So when you uh, port it... Like, if this Warlock gets a UA on me, I'm, I'm going to... Um, I'm just going to port, and it dispels it. I'm just going to dispel right now because I'm not really doing anything. Silence on me. I'm kind of hoping he does a UA on me, but I get it if he doesn't. Power, uh, infusion. I'm going to incap that. I got every dot. Psy Fiend. Big healing here. Okay, got my port down. Renewing mist, renewing mist. <clears throat> Drain life. This guy's pushing for a fear. I'm going to port it. Ported the fear. Cocoon before he tries to get silence on me. Oh, he does, does he not have silence? Oh, he doesn't have silence. I really thought he did. Oh, that's another UA. I'm just going to dispel it. And I'm stunned, which is fine. Healing elixir. Healing sphere down here. I'm going to order. Uh, fall in order here. I should. Stay. Oh, no. He's dead. No, he's definitely dead. Am I dead? I trinket that? Okay. Okay. I'm going to crane here. Incap the disc. Healing elixir. I should just be able to get this free enveloping mist here. Stun these guys. Free enveloping mist. Thunder focus T. Rising sun kick. Tiger palm into a rising sun kick. He's coming in for a fear. No. No. I'm going through. I'm rolling right through him. I should I get a free enveloping mist still though. So I can do it on uh, mage. Okay. I got to more put my... I got to... Spheres for days, please. Yeah. Wrap that uh, mind games into a full ink cap into a fear. Oh, what? Why? No path available. He's, he's on the he's on the straight ground right now, man. Zen focus, he big healing. Pushing for a fear. I'm kiting it out. Kiting it out. Kiting it out. Disorient them. Dispel the thing. Stun this guy full. Oh, I'm feared. Oh. Into a half fear, probably. Cocoon before the half fear. That's power infusion as well. Good, good poly. Are we getting another? Nice fear. Leg swept. On use. I dispel that. Healing sphere. Healing spheres. Got fear. Can't get it. Trying to dispel mind games. Got it. Renewing mist. Healing elixir. Healing spheres. Renewing mist. Stunned. Zen focus T. Big healing. If there's any ways, I know I got orbs right here. Got that mind games with UAs as well. Healing elixir. I got a devouring plague on me, but I'm gonna put one sphere here. Put my port here. Renewing mist. I'll survive every dot. Yeah. Oh oh oh! I'm doing damage here. Yep. Leg sweep in line. Rop him in line. Touch of death. Ooh. 